I love this. It's daylight savings. It just happened today. It's almost 7 p.m. and it's still daylight out. It's awesome. I don't know if countries even do daylight savings. The states do, but I think a couple don't. Like Arizona, I don't think does. I don't think Hawaii does. But this time change is great. I can brew until like almost 7.30, 7.45. In the summer, I can probably go as late as 8 before it gets dark. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, it's another brew day. It is warm today though. It's March 12th and it's gotta be around 90 degrees in the Los Angeles area. It's brutal, but it will get worse. So there's that going for us, which is nice. Today I'm doing a dark Saison. I got the idea from Mike Tonsmeyer, AKA the Mad Fermentationist, AKA the guy who wrote American Sours. I just got the idea from him and I kind of tweaked some things around. Um, he always plays with like different hops and different spices and he'll throw stuff in there, sometimes bread. Uh, I'm going to definitely do Brett and mine. The strains are WLP 650 and WLP 653. I might just do bottle dregs. I have a little slurry left over. I'm going to pitch it the same time I pitched the Saison yeast. And the Saison yeast I'm using is the Y yeast 3711, which I think is a pretty classic Saison strain. I think what I'm going to do though is split it into two. So I'm going to do one without Brett, one with Brett, <clears throat> and kind of compare. And the one without Brett, I might see how it comes along and maybe throw some dry hops in there or um, I don't know. <coughs> Maybe some herbs or spices or something. I don't know. I haven't decided yet what I want to do with that. I'm going to taste it first if, and decide if I want to add anything to it or not. And the funky one, I'm just going to let go for a month or two, maybe probably two months, and, uh, and hopefully get some good characters out of it. I'm going to add the dark grains at the end of the mash. I've been doing that for my dark beers now and uh, found I got a little cleaner flavors that way, so I'm going to do that again for this one. some of the mash here. I'm gonna do a pH reading on this puppy. Oh, so that's interesting. That is, that's 6.7% acid malts, and I cut the mash water in half with the sealed water, and I'm at 5.2. That's where I wanna be. I love being around 5.2. That's good to know that cutting my water in half with the sealed water and adding 6.7% acid malt will get me to the pH levels I like. That means that if I don't use the sealed water, I gotta go almost over 8%. I've been using 8%, but I think I would have to go closer to 9, which is a lot of acid malt. So I might just start cutting my water in half regularly. It's much easier to add salts back into the water, and I'd rather control my pH from the get-go. Heat this first runoff for a little bit 
while I floor lock this. So by the time this gets to a boil, I should be done writing this one off. That's the least idea on paper. Forty-four. Well, that's higher than I was going for. I kind of had a feeling that might happen because I was doing one gallon batches and I would have to really manipulate that beer synth program to make it where I would start at like a 1035 and end up at 1060 sort of range. So I was trying to do the same thing with this two gallon. I think my pre-boil was going for around 1034, 1035. So I was like, you know what, I have more volume this time. So it probably won't go from 1035 to 1055 or 1060. I think I think I'm going for 1057. I might so at 1044, I'm gonna probably end up around 1060 is my guess. I don't mind if I'm higher than that because this isn't really a style I'm trying to like lock down. Dark saison isn't really a thing. Uh, so if I'm higher, if I'm, even if I end up at 1065, I don't really care. Um, it's more for experimenting with the yeast strains and bread and and with the using dark grains with the saison strains and just kind of see how that all plays together. I will uh, you know leave it and we'll see what we get at the end. Ten sixty-five. So yeah, I was high. Um, I was high on my pre-boil at ten forty-four, and I finished high at ten sixty-five. I was going for around ten fifty-eight. Yeah, I mean it's it's okay. It's not a big deal to me. It's not really a style I'm trying to nail down, so it'll be a little on the stronger side. Um, but man, I think I got like seventy-five percent efficiency on this, and usually I get like 67, 68 range, uh, maybe a little lower depending on the batch I do. But it's okay. Yeah, it's good. I uh, got what I wanted for the most part, and I'm gonna get beer out of it, and I hope it tastes good. Yeah.